And the award for the best laptop, hands down, no ifs, ands, buts, or whatever. It's unanimous. It's not really unanimous, but I think you'd be hard pressed to disagree. It's the Aorus X7. This thing's, whew, it's a beast, bruh. Before we get started, real quick, if you've never seen this channel before, hey, how you doing? My name is Caleb. This is Reality Check, and we do tech focused review. So if you like that kind of thing, hit the subscribe button. If you do recognize this face, this chesichi, hit that little bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Real quick, just want to give a quick shout out to our boys over at EveTech who sent the X7 over to us for review. It is available for purchase on their website, evetech.co.za. Go check it out and show them a little bit of love. Today is all about the Aorus X7. Now I've had the privilege, thankfully, of trying out a lot of the best laptops that brands have to offer. I've had a look at the Alienware R5, I've had a look at the Titan, and then this thing comes along and just blows them out the water. I was, I was shook, bro, shook it. Let's talk about it in a little bit more detail. The build quality on the X7 is tank levels. An entirely fully metal chassis makes for a really rugged feeling laptop, and it still stays surprisingly light when compared to things like the Titan or the R5. Aesthetically, the only thing for me that stands out, at least on the outside, is the logo. I wish it was maybe a little bit more subtle, but overall I think it's got a really awesome muted matte black finish. The keyboard's also really great. It's got a really nice deep press, which is great for typing. And then also, it's a fully fledged keyboard and it's really well laid out, so that's nice. And then on top of that, they even threw in some macro keys for gamers. The RGB on the keyboard is actually just really dope. It looks awesome, it's well diffused, and it's even really visible in the daylight. Plus, you can control it really well through their proprietary software, Aorus Fusion, I think it's called. And whilst it's functional, it doesn't look that great. I also really like the touchpad on the X7. It's like a super smooth metallic surface. It just feels really responsive. My fingers never really catch on it. And it's got a nice size and it's well placed. So like 10 out of 10 there. Plus the logo looks really sick on it. The port selection is incredibly generous. They give you four USB type The port selection is also really generous. They give you four USB type threes. Can you say that? It's if I can get this right. Giving you some really lightning quick, <coughs> four lightning fast, <coughs> four lightning quick 3.1 USB type threes, type A USB 3.1s, USB 3.1 type A's. And then on top of that, you get a USB C three. <laughs> and then on top of that, you get a USB C, USB C, and you get another USB. Yo, yo. I can do this, dude. So they give you four lightning quick USB type. <laughs> Got this. The port selection. <laughs> Off, guys. Four lightning quick USB type. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Gareth. You can't do this. USB type. USB 3.1. Sorry. They give you. You can feel the laughter. Shut your minds up. Uh, the port selection. <laughs> Fuck, just guys. Okay, I think I'm composed. Port selection is also really generous. The office. Gareth, you can't do that. You can't stand there like that. I can see, I can see your shoulders shaking, guys. You need to keep it together, dude. Shush. I'm gonna go one more time. Watch me get it all right now. Okay. And then on top of that, you get a USB-C that. The port selection is also really generous. They offer you four lightning quick USB 3.1 Type A's, as well as a USB-C 3.1, and then on top of that, a USB-C Thunderbolt enabled. So that's pretty generous. And then included, obviously, is your standard headphone and mic jack. You also get an Ethernet cable, but a nice little touch there is the SD card slot reader, full-sized. There, fucking finally. Moving on to the screen, it's outrageous. There's actually just a lot to like about it. It's a 1080p 144 hertz panel, firstly. And if you've never used one of those, you don't know what you're missing, because the second you go onto that, it's impossible to go back, bro. Now, whilst that is dope by any standards, I think that's undeniable, there's actually something incredibly special about this display. So it's an x rite Pantone certified display. So it's Pantone levels, bro. This means that you can color grade things to complete accuracy for real life reproduction with Pantone printing. So it's the universal global standard for color recognition on your screen as to how you want it to look in real life. Thanks to that x rite certification, it's been factory calibrated, so you won't have to worry about doing that yourself. You can be guaranteed that you are getting something that is super color accurate. And I personally have to say, it looks great. It's vibrant, it's sharp, it's pretty, just yes. All the yes, bro. 
Now let's talk about the hardware because based off everything else that we've spoken about, specifically that 144 hertz panel, you know it's got to be packing some pretty impressive internals and it doesn't disappoint. So the X7, this bad boy is rocking an 8th gen i7-8850H, 16 gigs of RAM and a full desktop GTX 1080. That is monstrous bro that's a beast by any standards its performance was really impressive based off those internals so like cinebench scores rendering out 4k clips just editing in premiere pro and generally using it for creative tasks was a pleasant experience all around gaming as well with that 144 hertz combination as well as a gtx 1080 you got the rgb keyboard there for a little bit of aesthetic as well it's just I mean, it's hard to throw a game in it that doesn't do well with the GTX 1080. Everything on Ultra, and you're guaranteed going to get at least 100 frames for most games. Now, where a lot of laptops face problems, even though they perform really well, they've got great internals, they manage to keep it thin, light, or whatever the case is, cooling is the biggest issue that we face with laptops that kick out this much performance, and the X7 is no exception, and I can testify that the puppy gets hot, dog. She get a hot, hot, a hot damn puppy gets hot dog is that what i said yeah. unintentional folks the battery life is exactly what you might expect from something with a freaking desktop 1080 in it it's not going to last you that long especially not if you're playing games if you're just doing it for general usage four hours five maybe if you keep it on a low brightness but you might as well just keep this thing plugged in at all times come on and that pretty much wraps it up for the Aorus X7, guys. As I said early on in the video, it's the best high-performance laptop that I've come across. It's also the thinnest, especially considering the fact that it's got a 1080 in it. It's also the lightest, and I think it looks the best amongst all of them. Maybe the R5 takes a close second, but it's beautiful. It's not cheap, though. You can get it on evetech.co.za for 45,000 freaking Rand for the model that we have with a 1080i7 combo and 16 gigs of RAM. You can spec it even higher with their options. You can get 64 gigs of RAM and a two terabyte SSD. I mean, it's a bit excessive, but the options are there. So go check it out if that's your vibe. Don't forget to hit like, don't forget to hit subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this bad boy, cause he's a boost. And I'll catch you guys next time for another installment of Reality Check. Peace.